Clear prop. tremendous exhaust plume off of the number one stack so that's coming out of this B clamp right here which is going to need to be replaced and uh, it appears to be the only one on this side that's leaking so that's just one but what we want to do is we want to come around and show you the baffle seal back here in the back and you can see that there is no baffle seal at all back here so they are spilling a tremendous amount of cooling air on this side and unfortunately the other side is not in that much better shape uh, none of the baffle seals have any of the underwires connected underneath either the front or the rear so this engine is not getting any kind of cooling air through it it's just finding all these places to leak out we've already talked about the baffle seal being the wrong material so let's move over to the other side and take a look at that If you look on this side again, it's just a tremendous big gap right here for the cooling air to leak out down here on the bottom of the cylinder. Not as bad as the other side, but then again, no attention to detail blocking this hole, the spark plug feed throughs, but they become very minor when you don't have the baffle seals right in here to uh, go ahead and force the cooling air over the cylinder fins. And like on the other side, none of the under cylinder baffle slots have been tied together. So a, a real lot of spilling air coming off of this engine. So check your airplane. You really want to have these well to make sure that you get good cooling. Um, this is especially true in Tigers, but this Cheetah is really one of the worst we've ever seen. So we hope you found this informative and useful. I'd like to thank you for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman.